Hello everybody, Like a Boss here, and today we have Toa Golly set 7 something something something. <laughs> and she has two, get it, two tridents. A little equipment for her. A nice mask, and she's a Toa of Water. A nice simple build, very symmetrical. symmetrical. And the blue is from reminiscent of Galador. The light blue, that is, but. Oh no, just great looking. Her function, like all the others, <laughs> almost all the others, allows you to do that. And as you can tell, you can sometimes get caught. You can go all the way around. And Lego also does allow you to have the right arm have one or the left arm to not have one, so only one arm would move. When she goes underwater, she can use her weapons as fins, little flippers. And she even has two propellers right here, so when she goes underwater, Imagine just going like that, holding the arms like so, and she can just swim. And once again, just like Toa Liwa, she can't stand like this. Her eye stock yellow is her eye stock color is a nice yellow that her mask doesn't really like to allow light in for it. But when you do get the light behind it just right, she looks quite menacing. Once again, it's very important to note that Lego said, Hey, if you don't want gears, do this. If you want gears, do this. It's that simple. And with Toa Gali, we get the final instructions on how to complete that. With Toa Liwa and Toa Kopaka added. Now we get into the final grades for Gali, and value piece per price, 5.1. Slightly above Tahu and Kopaka. Playability, added 8. Build, solid 7. Character-wise, I mean... She has some turtle-like appearances, at least with the mask, in my opinion, with the nostrils on it, but very good. Display, also solid as well, so all in all, 36.1, which means we have a new leader on the board. Out of three LEGO sets I've reviewed so far, Kali Nuva takes the top.